Well, hello, this is uh, Mike from Music City, and right now I'm on Hollywood Boulevard, and there you see the Pantages Theater, where Hamilton is currently showing. And if you uh, recall, that's where the Talking Heads did their uh, talk, Stop Making Sense uh, live concert video. And uh, walking down Hollywood Boulevard, and I guess you could see it up there in the distance. We're gonna go visit uh, Amoeba Music. Now this is the second LA slash Hollywood location for Amoeba. Uh, I've not been to this one yet. They sold their previous location and have this one, which supposedly is a city block long and still one of the biggest, if not the biggest, record store there is. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to take much in the way of uh, video in silence. Get the Hollywood Boulevard sign there. Um, with the COVID restrictions. And, uh, it's early in the morning and they've just opened at 11. It's 11.30, so uh, I don't think I have any problem with access. But I think it's going to be maybe a little restricted inside. So we'll see. And let's see what we can find in this great music store, one of my favorite places to be. Well, there is the inside of Amoeba quite uh, spectacular look and they said it's okay to take pictures. I hope you can hear me talking through this mask, but uh, we'll walk inside and see what we can find and we'll probably do a lot of stops and starts on the video. Just kind of looking through this rack here. I'm curious to see if I could find any Springsteen um, archive CDs. Got all the style council there. Let's see what we have here in line. Springsteen, nothing. Funny how they've got a lot of bootlegs inserted, but nothing from that archive series. You've got to check squeeze while you're in town. But funny to, you do see some boots and these boots have lost a lot of value since like the Roxy one in Atlanta, for example, since they've uh, put it out on the Archive series now. We'll take a walk up here and look at the books and the magazines. Quite a, an awesome collection here. Wow. And look at all these posters on the wall. and Man, I really stock up on my rock and roll biograph. Collection, but means taking a lot home on the airplane. <laughs> the current collection of all the Mojo special stuff. I think we're caught up on all of that. They do actually have part two of Queen. Which I could pick up. I've got part one. It'd be good to read on the plane on the way home. Here's sort of a shot from up above the stairs here. I'm kind of div in a little bit. There's some 45s over there. I think we're going to spend a little time over there. I mean, if you are a CD collector and looking to fill up some holes in your collection, buy four of these and get one free. And if you just look at the quality of the stuff in here, and notice that the price is $1.99. Unbelievable. Look at that. Whiskey Town, Stranger's Almanac, The Rising, Bill Sobule, Travis. And it just goes on and on and on. Well, looking for something to wear, you come to the right place. Look at all of these rock and roll t-shirts. They look to be current stuff. I don't know if there is a collection of vintage but man they're they're sorted with tags by band is this incredible or what and we got punk we got metal we got rock sections more and more as we work our way through here some really nice uh, collectible beetle 45s on this wall Something I don't need to get started on. Okay. 
something else I don't need to start a collection of. Well, kind of been poking my way through the vinyl and they've got new and used mixed together, which is cool, which is cool. Again, just really not finding my way into, into diving into anything yet. And, um, and like I said, they've got it all here too. If you need a turntable or need some equipment, it's here for you. I think I'm gonna uh, take an adventure here and spend a little bit of time looking through this uh, clearance final and see if I can find anything I'm interested in. Possibly we'll also check through these various artists' um, CDs as well. Here's the back side, more 45s in the boxes here, 70s and stuff like that. We might find some cool stuff in there. Some of the odd things that you see here are all fun, like the Dewey lunchbox. And this collection of enamel pins and stickers and patches. Now there's a neat find of Five big start in space album on colored vinyl for 14 dollars I don't think I have that. I think I might pick that up today. We left Amoeba and we bought a few things and I think you saw that I was gonna get the big star. We did that. I found two things for $1.99 that are pretty cool. Uh, this John Miles album from the 70s. The song Music on here, really great. Produced by Alan Parsons at Abbey Road Studios, something you should check out. And then I got a live uh, Garland Jeffries record that I strangely didn't have and this is a great set from the late 70s early 80s with the rumor as his backing band so not a bad day not too much to carry back on the plane uh, Mike from Music City signing off please like share subscribe we'll see you again next time bye